with the retention of the same service providers that were complicit in the worst electoral fraud ever witnessed in modern times, including Saffron, OT, Mofo, and Algrier, etc. Five, the Commission CEO, who was the coup plotter in chief, and his litany of senior secretariat staff continue to dominate the operations of the Commission and stifle any attempt to initiate reforms at the Commission. It is now evident that Jubilee is firmly in charge of IABC through four commissioners who have set out to implement the Jubilee agenda within the Commission. Let me say something about the Jubilee administration. One, the ill-conceived amendments to election laws are not only unconstitutional but go against international best practice that in the middle of an elections contest one cannot change the rules and put in place rules that seek to favor him. Moreover, these profound changes to the electoral architecture are being pushed through without the broad consultations as required by the Constitution. Furthermore, it is clear that the amendments are intended to legalize and regularize the illegalities that led to the invalidation of the August 8th election. It stands to reason that the motive of these elections is to use the same tactics to rig the scheduled election. The state has, in the period intervening the nullification of the August 8th presidential election, gazette, gazettement of fresh and pending of the 26th October elections withdrawn security to the NASA presidential and deputy presidential candidate. This has made it untenable for the candidates to campaign freely without fear of being harmed. The state has 